Hello, and welcome to The Scoop at Southern. I'm Will Peebles. It's homecoming week here at GSU, and things have been very, very busy around campus. Lots of events, lots of things happening. Stick around, GSU. Your campus news show begins right now. The air around campus has been buzzing this week. As homecoming week rolls around, so do many of GSU's more highly anticipated events. We're going to take you through a recap of those events right now, beginning with International Week. Our reporter, Taylor Critchlow, has the scoop. Thanks, Will. I'm here at the Ruston Union Rotunda where we are witnessing international kickoff, which marks the start of homecoming week, the magical world of Georgia Southern here on campus. It looks like there's a lot going on right now, so we're going to go check it out and see if we can learn more about this. All right, I'm here with Wayman and Dominique, who are the coordinators of international kickoff. So, tell me, what gave you the idea of international kickoff? Well, you know, Disney World, you got Epcot, the international um, park. So we just wanted to bring a little bit of Epcot here, let, allow the students to learn about all the different cultures. A lot of people don't really know how diverse Georgia Southern is with the amount of students that are from other countries. So. Um, just pretty much what she said, it's a lot of students here from other countries that don't really get recognized and we thought maybe with um, it being Disney theme that we bring it here. Thanks Taylor. Later on Monday night, the homecoming madness continued with GSU Idol. Every year the Student Government Association sets up an American Idol style event where students from different organizations around campus step up to sing in front of their peers and be critiqued by a panel of judges. Our team stopped by the event Monday night to have a listen. The event consisted of 11 contestants. To stay on track with the Disney theme, SGA decorated the Union Ballroom with various Aladdin-esque props, such as cardboard cutouts of the Agrabah skyline, genie lamps, and stars. Each of the contestants lined up at the beginning of the show to perform a rendition of Aladdin's most famous song, A Whole New World. After two elimination rounds, the winner, Satovia Williams, was crowned. Satovia was chosen as the winner by the judges based on her stage presence, vocal ability, and diction. We're going to take a quick break here, but when we come back, we're going to take a look at a few other homecoming events. So stay tuned. Run on down to Statesboro. And keep on running in the Run the Borough 5K. Join us at the starting line in front of City Hall, December the 6th at 5.30. We'll be racing to the finish line to get back and enjoy all the festivities of the holiday celebration. Get pictures with Santa, enjoy caroling, holiday crafts, and warm up with some chili town. So join us here first Friday, December 6th for the Run the Borough 5K and the downtown holiday celebration. For more info, go to visit statesboroga.com. I'll race you up there. Sure. Yeah. Woohoo!
Welcome back. Last month, students began voting for comedians that they'd be interested in seeing on campus. The votes were tallied, and Little Duval, best known for his MTV2 stardom, was chosen. Due to Little Duval's no media policy, we weren't able to get any video of him. But here's a great picture. <laughs> Wasn't that hilarious? Now, on to what is possibly my favorite event of the year, the Duda Step Show. Every year, the University Programming Board sets up the event. Multiple organizations around campus arrange unique dance numbers and perform them in front of the crowd. We've got some great video of those performances. Check them out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2013 Duda and Step Show. <laughs> I find dance groups really impressive, and that probably has a lot to do with my complete lack of dancing ability. This year, Sorority Alpha Delta Pi, along with their shiny gold pants and tutus, took home the prize for first place and will hold the title until next year. We're going to take a wild transition here from dancing to drunk driving. Wednesday morning, students donned drunk driving goggles and gotten golf carts as a part of the Under the Influence event. Students were challenged to get into a golf cart and maneuver through a course of traffic cones while wearing drunk goggles. Later, a second, similar exercise was set up, but instead of the goggles, the driver had to send a text message while staying away from the cones. Come on, that text message has to be sent! That's actually like a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> They're like, how do I start it? You, you've already started it. All you have to do is just mash the gas. That's right, mash that brake pedal. Get it! There you go. A third demonstration simulated the consequences of not wearing a seatbelt during a rollover. Well friends, that wraps up our homecoming week coverage. The game begins Saturday at 2 and the King and Queen will be crowned at halftime. From all of us here at Student Media, I'm Will Peebles. Have a great, safe homecoming weekend, Eagle Nation.